I wrote this ballad, Henry's Big Kaboom, for my grandsons, James, Felix, and Chase. My brother, Charles Ames, arranged the music. We hope you enjoy it. My grandpa's name was Henry Knox. He worked for Washington. He joined the revolution and the British took his home. Henry's home had been in Boston, but the Redcoats chased him out. So he and his fellow countrymen decided to fight back. All the rebels formed an army. North and South would work together. They were called the Continentals. They would fight in any weather. But an army is no army if there's no artillery. I know where we can find some guns. I'll fetch them, said Henry. Meanwhile, George Washington waited. Soldiers were baited, ready to chase the British away. Cause what did Henry plan to do? Blast was fighting cannon with a big kaboom. Henry knew some guns were left behind in Fort Ticonderoga, back when Benedict and Ethan claimed the fort some months before that. But the trouble was, 300 miles lay between the fort and Boston. That's no matter, Henry said to George. I'll find a way to get them. When his fellow soldiers said, no way, those guns are very heavy. Never fear, we shall find a way, declared determined Henry. Then that jolly man who was quite large climbed up onto his horse. When Henry set his mind to task, he always kept his course. George Washington waited. Soldiers were baited, ready to chase the British away. Cause what did Henry plan to do? Lost this mighty cannon with the big ka boom. Henry found the guns in disarray. He counted 59. He looked them over carefully and said, these will do fine. Some were cannon in their wooden stalks and mortars, fat and squat. There were cohorns and small howitzers with mounds and mounds of shot. The biggest cannon was Old Sow. She weighed by thousand pounds. When she fired, she made such a noise, twas heard from miles around. They placed her on the largest barge to sail across the lake. If she fell into the water, it would be a big mistake. George Washington waited. Soldiers were baited, ready to chase the British away. Because what did Henry plan to do? Blast those mighty cannon with a big kaboom. Henry's men rode through the bitter cold to reach the other side, where the frozen over rivers would allow the guns to slide. Then with 80 yoke of oxen, pulling 40 wooden sleds, they could drag the big guns over ice and through the snowy beds. Going down one hill so steep and high, they call it Jacob's Ladder. The big heavy guns began to slide, going faster, faster, faster. Careful, Henry yelled. Don't let them fall. Hold on with all your might. That's exactly what his teamsters did. They held the guns real tight. George Washington waited. Soldiers were baited, ready to chase the British away. Because what did Henry plan to do? Blast those mighty cannon with a big cough boom. In the month of March, they finally reached their hoped for destination, where 2,000 men were needed to prepare the guns for action. Then 400 oxen pulled them to the top of Dorchester Heights, where on Boston town those guns looked down. It was a frightening sight. When the Brits woke up the following morn, huge muzzles faced toward them. Oh no, they cried, we're going to die. We must get out of Boston. They turned to General William Howe, who answered with a grunt. Those rebels have done more this night than my men in a month. Howe said to his men, quick board your ships and sail to Halifax. Henry's guns had done their job without a single cannon blast. The Patriots could return once more to their homes back in Boston. The cannon would fight another day. A long war lay before them. George Washington waited. Soldiers were baited. 
ready to chase the British away. Because what did Henry plan to do? Blast those mighty cannon with a big kaboom.